Hey everyone, another fantastic day's work. We'll see you all bright and early tomorrow. And remember, if anyone wants to start work on Superstar Limo, we're still offering time and a half. I know you're all volunteers, but we really need someone to get started on... Wait. Who's that in the hub? Hey. Hey you. Yeah. How'd you get in here? We're not accepting visitors yet. This park isn't anywhere near ready. Well, I mean you're here. And we haven't been able to show this place off for a long time. Do you want to take a look around? I don't see why not. Let's get some music going at least. This place gets spooky at night. That's a little better. Oh, and I probably should introduce myself. <coughs> Greetings. My name is Kevin Perjurer, and welcome to Defunct Land. <coughs> Excuse me. I can't wait to show you what our VR team has resurrected over the past few years. But first, a little note on how I'm going to move you around, as you seem to be a little stuck. There will be a glowing portal that will open, and you just need to step through it to go to the next location. Let's try that out now. Here it comes. Just jump through that. Perfect. As I was saying, this is Defunct Land. This is where dreams are restored and history is preserved. You are currently standing in the park's hub, looking at the icon the sorcerer's hat that used to reside at Disney's Hollywood Studios. You might have seen this before, but what you haven't seen is what lies beyond the hub. Time to make another jump. Defunct Land is split into multiple lands, like a real theme park. The one that I'm going to give you a peek at today is called the Dark Zone, where many of our dark rides reside. You can see it now through the sorcerer's hat. Let's head that way. Many longtime Defunct Land fans will recognize this show building. It's a classic pretzel dark ride, returned to its former, albeit modest, glory. We're not ready to give you a full ride through of this attraction yet, but here's a sneak preview. Get it? It's a joke because most of these rides are in pitch black darkness. But I'm guessing this isn't the dark ride that you came to see. But I'm willing to bet that this one is. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea Submarine Voyage. This attraction existed at the Magic Kingdom at the Walt Disney World Resort from 1971 to 1994. It is a recognizable classic, beloved by millions and missed dearly by fans. And I couldn't be more excited to say this, but it's back. Let's get closer. I know that this sign says that the wait is 45 minutes, but I have it on good authority that it will be less than that. Let's continue on. We're now in the center of the queue. In real life, these handrails would probably be scalding hot, but here in Defunct Land, they are exactly as they were in your happiest memories. And if that's scalding hot, so be it. So, do you want to ride it? The whole thing, it's all ready to go. Your journey through liquid space is back. And don't worry, I won't be joining you. I've talked enough already, but I'll see you afterwards. Enjoy the ride. And one last thing, watch your step as you enter. proceeding on a course that will take us on a voyage 20,000 leagues under the sea. En route we will pass beneath the polar ice cap and then probe depths seldom seen by man. So make yourselves comfortable, but please remain seated at all times. Here among the reefs you will see many familiar inhabitants of the undersea world. 
The great green sea turtles, for instance, are the reptilian patriarchs of the deep. These amphibious descendants of the dinosaur have changed little in the past 200 million years. Groupers, or giant sea bass, roam the coastal bottoms in search of food. The giant clam, obviously, is quite safe from such marine predators. The fish world has always been considered a silent habitat, but with our sonar hydrophones, we've discovered that fish actually talk. Listen. Witness the crew from one of our satellite ships. They are harvesting the abundance that nature has sown here beneath the sea. Kelp beds are cultivated. Sea creatures corralled and protected from predators, just as terrestrial shepherds protect their flocks from ravenous wolves. Service storm ahead, sir. Weather alert. All controls eight degrees down. Hold her at 80 fathoms and proceed on course. The Nautilus can dive safely below the violence of ocean storms. Surface vessels are not so fortunate. Witness the evidence of their fate. The graveyard of lost ships. For ages, these rotting holes have kept their secret treasures, safeguarded by silent sentinels of the deep. Man-eating sharks, nature's most unpredictable predators of the sea. Steady as she goes. In this region of the polar ice cap, you are witnessing a rare visual phenomenon. The aurora borealis above us. Ice cold beginning, sir. Take her deep and keep an eye on the depth gauge. We have passed beneath the North Pole and are now descending into that region in deeper water where the sun has never penetrated. Here, in this realm of eternal darkness, nature has provided her creatures with their own eerie luminescence. Warning lights, sir. We've reached maximum depth limit. Take her back up to 80 fathoms. 80 fathoms. There are limits beyond which man and his puny efforts cannot survive. We have almost exceeded those limits. Unusual formation of port and starboard, sir. Ah, these crumbling heaps of stone betray the hand of man. I believe we've made a startling discovery. These classic ruins could very well be the legendary lost continent of Atlantis. Some scholars theorize that a remarkable civilization was destroyed by a tremendous volcano. Others treat any concept of Atlantis as pure fantasy, along with legends of sea serpents and mermaids. I beg your pardon, sir, but did you say sea serpents are mere fantasies? Belay there, mate. Anyone in his right mind knows there's no such thing as a sea serpent or mermaids. 
Mr. Baxter, if you think you're seeing mermaids and sea monsters, you've been submerged too long. Captain Nemo, sir. We're experiencing unusual turbulence. It's a ruddy underwater volcano, sir. By Neptune's flippers, this confirms it. That seething mountain still denies rest to the civilization it submerged thousands of generations ago. Helmsman, stay clear the tottering columns. Red alert. Red alert. All hands Trim the tanks. Good Lord. It's one of ours. Its hull has been crushed like an eggshell. Another monster is attacking forward, sir. Full repellent charge. Repellent charge, aye, aye. Maximum voltage. All ahead. Emergency maneuver. All engines. Stand by to surface. Surface! 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 Great sir. Proceed on course. All ahead. All ahead, aye, aye. Station the maneuvering watch. Aye, aye, sir. All hands at stations. Captain to bridge, reduce speed and proceed to number four berth. Stand by to dock. Bridge, aye aye. All ahead, run third. Stand by the mooring line. Thank you for sailing with us. And now, when the cabin lights come on, please stand by to disembark. Gather your belongings, take small children by the hand, and watch your step. Wasn't that amazing? I hope you liked it. Our team worked very hard on it. Before you go, I have one last little surprise for you, and it's just around this corner. As part of our 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea attraction, we have included the 20,000 Leagues walkthrough exhibit from Disneyland's Tomorrowland that was open from 1955 to 1966. It's just a facade right now, but in the future, we hope to recreate the interior as well. Finally, if you take a look at your feet, you will see tiles engraved with the names of the talented volunteer artists that worked on this project. Here's a better view. All of these people came together to create this incredible experience. A big thank you to each and every one of them. If you have any modeling, animation, or programming skills, and would like to join the team to help us restore more attractions, please email us at defunctlandvrteam at gmail.com. And now we're back in the hub. I know that was a short tour, but we hope to have more to come very soon. But for now, I want to thank you for visiting Defunctland. I hope to see you again in the future for more of the past.